In this video I'm going to show you how to delete clips on Twitch, on desktop and on your phone. But before I begin I want to thank our sponsor Own.tv. On Own.tv you can get your own emotes. Look at these ones. I really like cows myself so these bulls are meant to be for me. They've got a lot more things for streaming like these overlay packs. A lot of them. And you know what the coolest of all is guys? If you use code TRUI, you will get 50% off. Link is down below in the description. So let's start off with showing how you can delete clips on desktop. We're going to twitch.tv and you click on your icon in the top right. Then we click on create a dashboard. We can also immediately click on video producer. So let's do that. As video producers in the creator dashboard, we have clips underneath that too. If you want to create a dashboard, click on content and then click on clips. If you do not see this menu, you might have folded it in here and you can fold it out. Okay, we click on clips. Here we can see all kinds of clips. We can see how many copyright strikes we have. For me, that's zero, luckily. <laughs> and then here we have clips of my channel and clips I've created. If you want to delete clips that you've made in other channels, you need to be in this tab. But if you want to delete clips from your own channel, click on clips of my channel. We can search them by going through this list. We can also search them by searching a category here. KO the kangaroo. And we can see these are all the clips that are made when I was playing KO the kangaroo. If we delete this out of it, all the clips will reappear. Besides from searching them on category, like we did here, we can also search them on when they were created. So we can click here and we can see the oldest one. It's five years ago. And the newest one is nine hours ago. We can also sort them on how many views they have. This is the one that has the most views. This is the one, I mean, there's a lot of them with one view, to be honest. <laughs> and here we can also download the clip. So if you want to keep the clip, but do want to delete it, make sure that you download it by clicking on this button first. Okay, so how do we actually delete them? I recommend before you delete one, that you click on it to see which clip it is. So you can play it and check if that's the claim that you actually want to delete. This seems to be just a clip of my starting soon screen, so we're going to delete this clip. Here, there is the delete button. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to confirm it by deleting it like this. Boom! It is out of the list now. If we want to delete multiple at the same time, that is also possible. We can click on multiple boxes and delete selected. These are clips I don't want to delete, so I'm not going to do that, but we get the same pop-up asking us do you want to delete it? You can also select all of them by clicking on here. So now we have everything from this row selected. If we would scroll further, we can select even more. Like how many you load in, that's the many you're going to select. And we can delete all of them at the same time. So if you want to mass delete all your clips, this is the way of doing it. So how would we delete these clips on mobile? So we're going to go to twitch.tv just like we do on a PC. And then here we see the website from twitch.tv. Uh, you can see that is the mobile version. What we can do is click on the dots here on the top and then we can click on desktop website. It takes a little bit to load it in, but then we see the same website as we saw on the desktop. Well, what we do is we click on the top right on our icon and we go to video producer. It goes a lot faster on PC than it does on mobile phones, sadly. We zoom in on the left, we click on this one, which is, I don't know, the icon of the player, I guess, and then click on clips. And here we can see this is the same page as we had on desktop, but without the actual download buttons. So if you want to download the clips, I would recommend doing it on PC. Okay, again, we can just click on one, we can view it and we can delete it here as well. Just like we did on desktop, we can also select multiple here and click on delete selected again. So if you use Apple instead of Android, which I'm using, I'm using Android, what you need to do is you see that bar with the web address. Next to it, you have this little A and the bigger A. If you click on that, you can go to desktop website as well. For some people, it's not working because if they go to Twitch.tv, it automatically opens in the Twitch app. Okay, what we need to do to fix it that it doesn't open in the Twitch app is we can click on the icon in the Twitch app and then we go to account settings. Here we can click on community guidelines and then we're gonna get redirected. And then in the top right, you see this saying Twitch TV logo with the arrow. If we click on that, we go back to Twitch.tv. If that still doesn't work for you, open your settings app on your Android, then we scroll down until we see apps. 
choose default apps. Let me click on opening links. Open links in apps. If we disable that, it should not be opening in the Twitch app anymore for you. So then you can just go to the Twitch website on your Chrome browser on your phone. I'm not using an Apple phone myself. So if you do have an iPhone, you probably need to do something like this to fix this issue as well. So just look around in the settings to find how you do this. Sadly, I can't really show this because, well, I've got an Android phone. <laughs> Another way to open the Twitch website, if that still doesn't work, <laughs> what you can do is type m.twitch.tv. Oh, TV. And then go. And it will open the mobile website of Twitch. So this might be the last solution you needed. But if people actually made some cool Twitch clips of you and they want to share it in your chat, you want to be able to allow Twitch clips in your chat without having to turn off link protection. I got you back because here's a video and I'll explain it on a lot of different bots. So see you there.